Okay. Let's try let's try Andrea Dory at tier six. I like the tier five. The tier eight felt not so amazing. Um let's try the tier six. <laughs> oh good lord, Mythic. Good lord, that's crazy. Alright, what prediction are we gonna run? Thinking I'm thinking I'm I'm gonna run Yes, we're middle tier, but there's only our only top tier ships in our team are the Atlanta, the KG, and the Sh oh, the Shira and Minsk. Okay, Shira could be an issue, depending if we can spot him or not. We do have planes at least. All right, let's. Hmm, what do I want to run here? Only three cruisers. Let's just run. Let's just run damage. You guys saw what I did with thirteen barrels last game, so we're gonna set the over under on on eighty k. So, who wants to dance? There we go. So we're going to we're going to do straight damage prediction in this game with uh, with Andrea Doria and see how she does. Let's rock. We got a Congo on my right, a Cesare in to my left, Britannia to my Let's left, Colorado rock. behind me. Let's go over here with the Congo. Let's rock. I did 103 like with the tier 5 as bottom tier. Now I'm middle tier. Let's see what we can do. No aircraft facilities, but the AA is not terrible. Probably not enough to sit to fend off a sustained attack, but enough to let him know he's been in a fight. Oh, Mythic, if you get to close enough range, the little American AP 5 inches will do, uh, the AP out of those guns will do mean things to, to broadside light cruisers. But you got to get close. Like, you got to get to, like, what almost amounts to suicide range, right? To really get that kind of performance out of them. It's, it's, it is a challenge, to say the least. But as you would ask, um, I know it's in the first look videos I did. I don't remember anymore off the top of my head. I apologize. I just don't recall. JT wants the Tier 3 game. Who's smoking across the mid? What are you doing, Atlanta? Full pens. Shorted it. I'm going to play a Flint game tonight, I think. I tried one off stream the other day, and in a standard battle, my team suicided so fast. Consider this, guys. It's a standard battle. You're always ticking up points. Always, always, always. My team suicided so quickly, the game lasted six and a half minutes. That's how bad, that's how bad my team was in that game. It was, it was mind-blowing. All right, so the Shirix is somewhere he can see me. Torpedo hits. Oh, hi, Minsk. Well, we got to do something about this. And the New York is firing HE at me. Okay. Damn. Desert road, no gas. And no chicks. What in the hell is happening on the other side of this map? Dallas is point blank with a Shira while they try to kill each other. The Dallas loses because he's on the north side of, the, of their of their island at the three and a half minute mark. Which nobody with two brain cells to rub together thinks is a good idea. Or could possibly explain to me. I like the turret traverse. Good afternoon, Shaw. How you doing? That salvo's probably not going to be end up very good because he turned into it. Hmm. I've had worse. What is he trying to torpedo?
Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. Hmm. 6K is not awful. Not amazing, but it's not awful. We're actually up a ship, even though it absolutely doesn't feel like it. Of course, the Nuremberg fires as soon as I pull the trigger. <sighs> I see the Hiei has chosen death or exile. So, death then. Let's try the AP. This is an incredibly bizarre match so far. Like, who can suicide the quickest? Nice hit out of the AP. Okay, so against certain targets, you definitely want to be firing the AP. That's, I mean, that's not surprising, but it's still good to know. Nick Salvo should be able to kill the CA off the board if he doesn't get a heal off. And he might. We're going to swap to the AP after the Salvo, and then we're going to chase this Omaha until, and kill him. But that, that ought to end the EA's game if somebody doesn't beat me to it. Really? 200 HP. Okay. Our carrier's dead. And this Omaha has got balls of steel. You guys are going to let the Hiei live. Okay. Fine. I'll take care of it for you. With his dying breath, he casually gets 15,000 damage. Yay. We have no carrier. Team is all in the cap circle. Wow. I I kind of agree with you, Edge Case. But I think it's, it's not that simple. I think it's not that simple because... I mean, yeah, I could switch shell types, but do I want to waste 17 seconds when I could just fire what I have in the barrels? So that's not really worth it, is it? Doesn't feel like it is. I mean, Edge, it's standard battle. This is always where it's going to end, I think. That ought to get him. Oh, really? <clears throat> Give me a break. Yeah, no, you're exactly right, Edge, but that's the problem. You can't put Sansonetti on every single Italian ship. It's not realistic. And the reload on these guns is so punitive, it's not worth the downsides. That's kind of the struggle that I have with what they've done with SAP. Right? They've made it so punitive. Holy God. That basically the idea is, oh, you get 
Okay, you get this SAP shell, but your reload is trash, your ship is squishy, your AA is garbage, your detection is maybe a little better than average, and that's all you get. Well, why would I play that? Like, what's the, what's the incentive? You've taken so much away from these ships that it's almost not worth it, right? They've literally taken so much away that it just doesn't feel like it's worth the trade-off. We can still win this game. I think I'm about to... I have the chance to wipe out this Hiei. Let's see if I can pull it off. Damn. Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. His shot, his load, my stern turrets are still available. That means he's in trouble. Really? Thank God. I was starting to get a little irritated there. To put it lightly. Well, at least I broke the 80k mark. Thank God. Can't believe it took forever to kill that Omaha. I mean, it is still it is still a GC at the end of the day, right? Like, that should shock nobody. The fact that the Nuremberg has lived to get to point-blank range with a Britannia kind of tells you all you need to know about my team this game. Woof. And, yep, he kills the Britannia. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Well, hi. Hey there, big boy. How you doing? Mmm. This is going to really pump my damage numbers, kids. Because he's turning, which means as soon as... Uh, all I have to do is lag this shot a little bit. Remember, Ranger Citadel is at the stern of the ship. Oh, I'm going to have to barely touch him now. Goodbye, goodbye, Ranger. Well, RGC, in the process of grounding himself, gave his full broadside to the Dunkirk. So that'll be over soon. Well, this game is going to be a loss. I do have an outside chance at a Kraken if I can survive the Ranger planes. Let's find out. If I can kill the if I can kill the Nuremberg, that'll be a Kraken. But I can't even hit him. For reasons, you know. Reasons and stuff. You know what? The Congo's gonna live. I'm gonna go ram the Dunkirk. I want my Kraken. <laughs> I want my Kraken. We're totally going to ram the Dunkirk.
Bring it on, Dunk. It's not enough, buddy. It's not enough. Witness this, my final testimony, sir. Oh, I almost got the double strike, too. That's all right. Can't get a Kraken in a test ship, but I don't care. I got my Kraken. <laughs> I got it in spirit. I had 3,000 HP left, and I killed 40,000 40, hit points worth of enemy battleships, so I'm pretty happy with that result. Um... Man, would come in handy right about now. it's a nice damage result. I still can't carry a team, apparently. <laughs> it just can't be done. Uh. The accuracy of these guns is a problem. Um, you just... You're going to miss shots you should make. I should be able to hit an Omaha at 8 kilometers. I should be able to wipe out an Omaha at 8 kilometers. But my Sigma dispersion is going to be a problem, right? It's going to be something you constantly fight in these ships. And I could tolerate it better if the ships felt like they had the survivability to get more shots. What do I mean? If your ship is less accurate, but it's... Let's, let's go back to the what everybody thinks of as the original iteration of the German battleships, right? What was their big thing? Their guns were not amazing, right? They didn't hit a lot of the things they shot at, but they were pretty resilient, especially starting at about tier 6, tier 7. Those ships were hard to kill, right? Their armor schemes, they had a decent amount of health. If you drove them right, you took care of them, it was hard to kill a German battleship. So the guns, the ship, hung in the game longer, and you got more work out of it. You got more work out of the guns. Statistically, over the course of a game, right, you just get, eventually, you'd get some damage. These Italian ships have almost the exact opposite problem. The guns remain pretty inaccurate, from what I can see so far out of my four, three or four games here, but the ships are soft, right? They're incredibly soft. They want, they, they try to be stealthy, but then magically at tier eight, they lose that, right? They're no longer stealthy at tier eight anymore. The reload is trash, starting in the high tiers. Like, it just starts to fall apart at the top end of the line. At least on paper, right? Who wants to play a Tier 9 battleship with a 37-second reload? Like, yuck. Why Why would you do that? Why is that amazing? I don't. I legit don't understand kind of the design of this line. Oh my god. Again, once again with the with the the, the 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 loss where I came I showed up to play and everybody else is like, uh what? This guy gets one of these for at least trying. Well, you're exactly right, Iron Mech, but I mean how popular is Minnesota? How popular is Vermont? How popular is Kansas? They had to literally bribe people on NA to play those ships. Do you remember? That wasn't that long ago. They literally had to bribe people to play those ships. And, and here we are, right? With the Italian line. Uh, right now, I'm not feeling it. Like, the ships are gorgeous. This is Battleship by Armani, right? These ships are amazing. Like, they look, they are just, c'est magnifique, right? I don't, I don't know how do you say magnificent in Italian, but I'm going to figure it out. But, like, they're gorgeous to look at. They're just stunningly beautiful ships. But their performance, I, I, I say this, they have 148,000 damage game, right? This sounds stupid, but... They, the, the gun, like when you drive a battleship, what are you there for? Magnifico? Magnifico. You're, 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 look, when you pick up a battleship, you're looking for gun performance. You're looking for main battery performance. You want main battery performance that is impactful, that the shots go more or less where you want. Certain battleships, you accept that Fuso is a shotgun, right? For example. Um, but like, you accept that for certain battleships. Mid tier, most mid tier battleships are notoriously inaccurate, but like, most mid-tier battleships have better armor schemes than this, it feels like. Let's look at this armor layout, but maybe I'm missing something. 